offensive line doesn't have like so many stats for show, but you don't have allowed one single sack in your all Alabama's career. How do you think that that pop for the for the scouts and for the teams and for the NFL? Um, I hope it showed them that that I can I can pass block. I mean, uh, it speaks for itself. Um, not giving them a sack in, in three and a half years. Uh, I think that that's a really good thing, especially in the SEC, where uh, most of the defense linemen are really dominant. Um, and also for me being a arguably bigger guy. Uh, that is a great stat for me because it proves that I can I can move in space and that I can handle my own. Alabama have like three guy, big guys of the this offensive line going for the draft. Like uh, you have you have Deontay, you have Dickerson. How is for you guys like being in a in a in an offensive line that's that good that can bring so many guys for the NFL? And how is that relationship works? Now that you're like your three are going for the next level. I mean, um, it's great. It was great uh, playing alongside those two dudes because, um, I mean, our goals, our mentality, and our mindset like they all aligned. You know what I mean? So uh, everything clicked, and I feel like that was like the driving force to our success as an O line, and also as a team. You know what I mean? We were all uh, committed to being champions and committed to being the best players that we could be. And uh, just us um, sharing that common goal it, uh, fueled us to compete and um, make each other better. You say that you, uh, you have like the five years in Alabama and how that worked for you, like in adequate work. And how do you think that all these years that develop, that Bama brings for the players? It's good for the NFL in training or in learning the game. Um, I think year in and year out, Alabama produces the most NFL-ready players. Um, I think that's evident by the number of players in the league and their contribution. So uh, year in and year out, Coach Saban prepares guys better than anywhere else. And that's a lot of the reason why guys come here and are so successful in the league um, is, is the preparation they have here. We know that the draft process is different for you guys. Like you, you know, have so many guys that are picked. But how do you try to show for the NFL that if it's not on the draft, like go for you in, in the free agency and just having a shot? How do you work on it and try to keep your head, uh, your mind on the place for like maybe not drafted, but knowing that you're gonna have a chance? Well, I mean, you're absolutely right in what you said about how the process is different because I mean. You have 32 starting quarterbacks in the NFL, but every team really has three quarterbacks. In the NFL, you have 32 snappers and 32 that play. That's that, that's it. There's only 32 jobs in the world that you get to you know play this position. And so it's it's certainly different. The process is different. Not everybody needs a guy, uh, but you want to show that you know you're going to be able to step in and fill that role as as soon as you're out of college. You know that's the biggest thing that you need to show a team is the fact that, you know, as I mentioned before, how different the punt is in college versus what it is in the NFL. You want to show that team that you are capable of snapping and blocking and recognizing the protection and basically just, you know, refusing to lose in protection because you're blocking against guys who, you know, make their living for eight or nine years off of beating you at what you're doing. And so the, you need to show to whoever is going to take a chance on you that you are capable of putting yourself and the team in the best position to be successful in the best uh, best position to win. So.